You can find me on Ravelry as thines42, Instagram as smitten.nitten, and threads as smitten.nitten, even though I don't really use threads as much as I did a month ago. <laughs> that kind of died real fast, didn't it? Whatever. I still go on it every once in a while. Um, I found that it's mostly just celebrities and fiber artists on there, which I'm not complaining about. I think that's fun. So buckle in because it's been two months since I've last filmed a podcast. <laughs> um, so there is a lot, a lot to cover today. Um, yeah, I can't tell you why I haven't filmed a podcast in two months. It just hasn't been something that I have wanted to do. I have been enjoying my summer, um, crafting a lot, obviously. Um, and I just really have not wanted to sit down and film. I've been, first of all, way too busy. And second of all, just like, vibing and not wanting to like have my face on a screen so that's what's been up before we get into anything else today i want to thank our sponsor for today ana luisa i love ana luisa as you all know ana luisa is an ethical and sustainable jewelry brand that is non-tarnish and everything is just so so cute seriously run and get yourself some ana luisa jewelry you will not regret it i never do Ana Luisa was so kind and they sent me four pieces of jewelry, um, two rings. These are the Paisley and the Haley rings. I love them. I chose them because I thought they would stack really cute together. I just love this look. I think that's precious. They're so dainty and cute on their own, but I really, really like the look of them being stacked like that. I think that's precious. And for the earrings that they sent me, so cute. They sent me the mini Huggy Hoops in silver and the Cassie in silver. And I think these are very classic, um, just very sweet, dainty, everyday earrings. And that's exactly what I love. I love having everyday jewelry that I can wear. Ana Luisa is having a summer sale right now, so please go check that out. And as always, you can use my code SMITTENMITTEN20 for 20% off of your next order. Okay, let's get into it. First things first for finished objects. Um, what am I wearing today? I am wearing the Faye Summer Top by Eileen Lynn. I knit this in True Boo uh, by Lions Brand in the color light pink. Um, I was nervous with how this was going to turn out. I wasn't sure because honestly knitting this top in True Boo was not the best experience. First of all, bobbles kind of always suck <laughs> to knit. Um, but especially in such a slippery yarn, it really was not a nice experience. So I would recommend knitting this in like a cotton or a wool blend. Um, I do think it came out really beautifully in the True Boo, but um, I, I just wouldn't knit it in this again. Uh, I think True Boo is good for normal knitting and not like a lot of intricacies <laughs> um but i do i do love this pattern 10 out of 10 recommend it was very easy to follow it's really really cute um and i wear it quite often i wear it to work a lot it's a really good um top for when i want to look like a little nicer at work because i work in a very casual environment i work in construction um so usually i just wear jeans and a t-shirt so i wear jeans and this if i want to look nice <laughs> Okay, next up, we have five socks that I finished <laughs> because since the last time I filmed, it was, well, it still is summer sock camp and then also sock week. I finished, I think I finished five socks, maybe six socks for sock week crazy. If you don't know what Summer Sock Camp and Sock Week are, um, Summer Sock Camp is a all summer long sock knit along hosted by the Crazy Sock Lady. And um, uh, Sock Week is another sock knit along hosted by Knitty Natty. Um, so Sock Week is one week long 
sock camp is all summer long and they're both really fun um but ever since uh, sock week ended i have not been knitting socks because my goal was to knit one pair of socks a month and now i'm like way ahead of that goal so i'm just gonna like <laughs> chill out with my socks for a little while so first up these were halfway done when I last filmed. These are the Cozy Autumn Socks. Um, all the information will be listed down below. Um, this is knit in a yarn that I got in Tempe, Arizona. Um, it's called Fool's Gold, but I can't remember the dyer or um, anything like that. But like I said, that'll all be down in the description box below. These are my first um, lace design socks that I've ever knit and I love them. I It's a free pattern on Ravelry. Uh, it, I think it's adorable and I really, really like it. Um, my socks, I wear a lot um, in the summer and in the winter. I wear them every single season because I can't have uncovered feet inside of my house. I hate walking on floor just like with naked feet. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. However, I can go outside and be barefoot, no problem. Um, don't know why that is, but that is how it is. Um, so yeah, I love these. I've worn them a bunch and I highly recommend knitting this pattern. Okay, next socks. I did not follow a pattern for this. These are vanilla socks that I knit. Um, once again, everything will be in the description box below for every single thing that I show you today. This is out of Fangirl Fibers uh, yarn in the color Cardigan. This was from the Taylor Swift sock advent from last year. Um, I love it. It's so cute. I really, really like these. Um, I don't love the heel. I did a wrap and turn heel. Um, yeah, it's not for me. I think... Uh, I, I'm on the hunt to try every, or I'm on a quest to try every single um, different type of heel construction. Um, but I've decided wrap and turn short roll heels are not for me. Um, I will try one more to like kind of see, try it like smaller, see if that makes it better. But I think I really like a heel flap and gusset construction. So I think that's what I'm gonna stick with for the rest of my life. <gasps> spider, 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 spider. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, holy, holy cow. Holy cow. I'm sorry you had to see me act that way. <laughs> Spiders are genuinely the scariest things in the world to me, which um, really doesn't work out for me considering that I live in the middle of the woods. <laughs> so yeah, um, I'm sorry, but I'm not. <laughs> okay, anyway. I think that was all I had to say about those socks, so let's move on to the next ones. These socks are for my dad. These are his birthday present, which is in October. Um, this colorway is um, called Not Today. It's by um, Salty Blonde Fibers. It's from her MS colorway. My father has MS, and um, so I bought these. I bought this yarn for him. Um, and so now he and I both have MS socks, um, which is really cool. Um, yeah, just a basic vanilla sock, heel flap and gusset. Um, he has another pair of socks that he received from me for Christmas that he really liked and I made them exactly the same. So there we go. I really like these and I really love being able to buy like charity socks that contribute to something that actually affects my um, family and our lives. So it's a great cause. 
um, if you're able to donate to MS Research, that would be really wonderful because there's no cure and it's a really difficult disease that people struggle with every single day. My next finished object is the Arios Socks by Lisa Schmidt. Um, this yarn is called Catalina Wine Mixer. It's from Rising Tide Fiber Co. Um, I knit these during sock week because um, the dyer was one of the dyers, the sponsored dyers for um, sock week. Um, and I actually accidentally bought some of um, Rising Tide yarn because they're local to me and they actually work at my local yarn store, which I thought was really, really cool. Um, so I went in there one day to buy yarn for my friend's birthday so that she could knit her first sweater. And there was like a whole wall, a beautiful wall of her yarn. And I really liked this one and I chose this one. And then summer or sock week came along and I was like, oh my gosh, I have some of her yarn. So I used this for summer sock week um, or just sock week. Super cute, super pretty. I really am into lace socks, especially for summer because um, it's nice to wear it around the house because the bottom of my feet are protected. But there's like holes for me to breathe, have, have my feet breathe. So I love these, I think these are great. Um, I have recently started going down a needle size for my socks just because I feel like those fit me better. They don't like stretch out too much and slide down a lot while I wear them. Um, so what do I use? I guess I use a size zero needle now for my socks and I am really enjoying that. Um, yeah. And I, instead of 64 stitches, I have been doing 60 stitches as well. So they're very tight, but of course they loosen. I have pretty like skinny ankles and feet, so it works out for me. Um, yeah, these are great. They've gotten a lot of wear as well. All of these socks that I'm showing you have gotten a lot of wear and I love them. Okay, well, besides my dad's socks, obviously, they would not fit me. I mean, they're huge. <laughs> Look at these compared to, yeah, they're huge. Actually, I kind of want to try a pair on right now. See how they fit me. They're huge. Oh, they're comfy though, but there's like an inch and a half of, I'm not, I don't want to flash you because I'm wearing a skirt today, but like, yeah, that's a lot of, extra <laughs> um but yeah i really like tinier fitting socks and then the last finished object i have to show you are these socks i actually knit these out of cardigan and fool's gold i couldn't believe how wonderful the colors matched the like golden yellow orangey color it, it worked out so well um, these out of all the, the socks that I showed you have been worn the most. Um, I did an eye of partridge needle flap for these. Yeah, um, I've really been loving wearing these. Actually, I have sandals on right now and I don't know why I'm wearing shoes inside. It's because I went outside earlier, but I'm going to put these on right now because they are so cozy and I... Honestly, I'm going to knit so many more like shorty socks now just because like I'm obsessed. I love these. These are fantastic. Um, yeah, so and I thought it was so cool that I was able to get a pair of socks out of like leftovers. Um, I, I have a lot of sock yarn leftovers um, even after I put stuff in my like scrap sock blankets like I still have scrappy sock yarn blankets I still have so much yarn left and I don't want to just keep buying sock yarn when I already have a lot so I think it works out really really well 
that I'm able to make so many more socks with the yarn that I already have. Um, no yarn goes to waste in this household. I use all of it. Well, that is it for my finished objects. So let's move on to works in progress. So first things first is a new cast on. Um, it is the Jebel button up that I am making for my boyfriend. Which way is the top? This is it. This is the back panel. Uh, can't really tell much that's going on yet, but it's really, really cute. It's a crochet top um, that kind of looks like it's knit, which is really cool. I really like it. Um, I am knitting, or knitting, crocheting this in uh, Lindy Chain Fingering Weight from Knit Picks um, in the color, colors Celery and Linen. Um, yeah, it is 70% linen and 30% Pima cotton. It's pretty rough, but um, I think it's really going to soften up nicely. Um, it's a very, it's, it's really nice. Actually, I'm really excited about this. I'm really hoping that I finish this before the end of the summer, which is coming up really fast since it's already August. Um, but I think he'll at least be able to wear it once before the end of the year. And he can always wear it with a shirt underneath of it because he likes wearing like a white t-shirt underneath of his shirts and like having his shirts open a lot of the time. So I think he'll definitely be able to wear it at least once before the end of the year. Um, and I am making him the size medium. He's really excited about it. I'm really excited about it. Um, I've only knit him accessories before, so it's exciting that he actually receives a top. Note that it is not a sweater. So the sweater curse, not in this household, baby. Um, for those of you who don't know, the sweater curse is if you knit your partner a sweater, you will break up by the time you finish the sweater. I don't know if that's true or not, but thankfully for me, my boyfriend doesn't like sweaters, so that'll never happen. <laughs> this is a project that I'm making out of uh, Plotilopi scraps. It is the um, retro hippie hoodie. Um, it's a free pattern on Ravelry. I love me a free pattern. Um, I am not following the actual color work um, pattern, just the shape of the sweater. Um, so this is the back panel. Um, and I really like it. I think that Plotilopi is a really good choice for like a hippie hoodie or like a drug rug, people call it sometimes. Um, Cause it's very rustic. Um, and I think it'll be really comfy, cozy, and it'll be like a great piece to wear in the winter so I won't have to wear like a winter coat I'll just throw this on over it um yeah so I'm using Plotilopi scraps for this so I'm not positive I'll have enough to make it like an actual hoodie but I'm really hoping that I have enough to make it a crew neck at least um I'm not I don't have to finish the edges I'm not pressed about finishing the edges um, but I would really like to have like front back sleeves. Um, I don't have to do a collar or anything. I'm not pressed about that. I think it'll look nice even without that. Um, but we will see. Um, yeah, I really like the colors. I really like the stripes. So of course it's worked like this way. Um, but it actually goes like this. And I, I really think that's cool because I love vertical stripes. Vertical stripes are just so much more flattering than horizontal, in my opinion. So I, I think it's really, really cool. And I feel like it's very much like the vibe of a hippie hoodie or a drug rug. Um, yeah, what am I knitting this on? Four and a half millimeter needles. And this is the start of the front. Mm, I just love the smell of Plotilopi. It's so sheepy. It's really nice. 
Also, I found when it comes to more rustic yarns, just like a quick tip, um, I definitely recommend washing it twice before you wear it because that really softens it up. The first time, wash it in um, dish soap. And then the second time, wash it in wool wash. Just a pro tip from what I've found works really well for rustic unspun floofy or just any rustic, like super rustic yarn. Next is another sweater. Um, it's a test knit for Tanya Arley. It is the Trawalua, tra the Trawalua sweater. Um, I really like it. Look how beautiful this color work is. You wanna see the inside, my floats? I think I did a good job with my floats. How about that? Beautiful, isn't it? Um, this has a folded hem on the sleeves and then a broken rib hem on the um, bottom and the uh, collar. Um, this has been really enjoyable to knit. Um, it is a sport weight or fingering weight pattern, but I'm using a sport weight yarn um, and I think that works out great for me. Um, yeah, I'm definitely going to need to give this like a good block in, like really like stretch it out. Um, but my swatch was right on gauge and it was great. So I'm looking forward to it. I'm excited to wear this this winter. Like I, I've never done a folded over cuff like this, but I really like it. Um, I think I'm going to do this more often now. It just gives it a nice like clean edge but also like bulk to it. I would really like it if it was also like a folded hem on the bottom and the collar. So I might like go back and change that after the fact if I decide that's what I want to do. But I'm not going to be pressed about it right now. I think it's a really great design. I love Tanya Barley. I've knit one other of her patterns before, example here, and I love it. It's really, really great. Um, so yeah, um, this is Flora Adora Fibers, um, and I will do the colorways below. I think this is Moon Glow, and then I have like Mossy, the green is like Mossy Dusk or something like that. Um, it's a great yarn. It really blooms really beautifully. Um, these are naturally dyed, so I did wash the green yarn before I knit with it, just to make sure that there's no bleeding. Um, and yeah, I can't wait. I cannot wait for this to be done. I have one sleeve here left. I picked up the stitches that I was ready to go whenever I was ready. And there we go. And now we are on to my blankets. I have four blankets, same as before. Um, this is my faux jelly roll. Um, the jelly roll is a really good pattern. I did not buy it because I looked at it, at pictures of it and was like, I can figure it out. Um, which like, maybe you agree with, maybe you don't, I don't know. I'm, I'm not following the pattern at all. It just has, resembles the jelly roll. So, you know, I, Think that if we can figure it out we can do it however we want to um, I don't think it's necessary to buy a pattern um, but I'm not gonna be giving him any information on how I'm doing this just because like it's not for me to sell or give out you know all I'll tell you is that I did 20 stitches for the color yeah and I'm just using scraps held double for like a DK weight. And I'm using a size four millimeter needles. Um, don't ask me why I'm using needles this long. It's really just because it's what I have. Okay. Yeah. So these are all of my sock leftovers. Um, I put these in here once I finish my coziest memories. Uh, and I'm really vibing with it. I really enjoy it. My next blanket is 
the exact same yarns. Um, it is my Coziest Memories blanket. Um, I believe the Coziest Memories blanket is a free pattern. I actually never like clicked on it to open it. I just kind of figured it out once again. Um, so it's just mitered squares. I'm using I'm doing fingering weight yarn on a two and a half millimeter needle. I put little stoppers on some double pointed needles. Works great for me. Um, yeah, this is all fingering weight yarn. Um, I cast on 40 stitches each side of the square it is 20 stitches. And it's easy peasy. Um, yeah, this is the sock yarn from every single sock I've ever made. And yeah, I'm just gonna keep chugging along. This is a very, very long-term project, which I'm not mad about. I enjoy having tiny little mundane projects to put my scraps in. I think that's really, really fun. And it's, it really is a memory. I, even if I give away socks or if they um, get holes in them and I can't wear them anymore, you know, I still have the memory which I think is very sweet. Okay, next up is this monster, this beast. I, it's a scrappy granny square blanket. Um, I've been working on this for like three years now. I am sick of it. I've been sick of it since the first year I started working on it. Um, and honestly, I think it's hideous. <laughs> I really think it's ugly. Uh, maybe it's the green that I chose to um, crochet everything together. Maybe it's because of the sheer chaos and randomness of all the squares, but it's just like not, not it. So I have added almost one full row to the bottom. Um, I'm really close to being done with this. I'm gonna stop once it's like a full square and then I'm going to like crochet a border around it um, in the same green, and then I'm done with it. I might keep it, I might give it away. I will probably give it away because honestly, I can't stand looking at it anymore. So um, I'm gonna finish making it, then I'll probably give it to my boyfriend's nieces because he has, yeah. I, I think they'll appreciate it a lot more than I'll ever appreciate it because I hate it. <laughs> I hate it so much. Um, I've come this far. I'm not going to undo it. And I feel like I, I might as well just finish it. I'm just going to finish it. I'm really close to finishing it. It doesn't matter when I finish it, as long as it gets finished eventually. Uh, so yeah. One day it'll be finished. One day it'll be out of my life forever. And maybe when I finish it, I'll be like, hmm, maybe I do like this blanket and I'll be happy about it. But as of right now, I can't wait for it to be out of my life. And yeah, I've never felt this amount of like disdain and hatred for a project for. It's not for me. No. Um, don't get me wrong, I love a scrappy random blanket. I have three others that I'm working on and I love. I have another one that I love. Um, this one is just a little too random for me. It's not for me. It's not for me at all. Maybe my friend Kim will like this. I feel like my friend Kim would really appreciate this. So Kim, if you're watching this, let me know if you want this. And it'll be yours one day. Probably not any day soon. But one day, it'll probably be yours. Um, yeah, no, I'm, I'm not keeping this thing. I hate it. Okay. Um, this has taken up too much of my time. Uh, speaking to you with it, uh, I'm uh, basically I'm just crocheting everything together with a five millimeter hug. That's it, that's that. No more, goodbye. Okay, last work in progress is my scrappy, chunky blanket. 
um, since the last time I saw you. I've gotten this much done. Um, not too much, especially since it's been two months since I last saw you, uh, but whatever. Um, yeah, there's just been other things I've had to work on, like a test knit and my boyfriend's uh, shirt. So I'm moving this now. And yeah, I don't know what I did with the hook for this. So that's unfortunate. Um, I'll find it eventually, I guess. You see, the issue is that uh, for like several weeks after I finished, uh, when I was like done working on this for a day, I just put it over the back of the couch and I used it as a blanket before it was even done. So um, the hook is probably somewhere in this couch. Where is it under here? It's somewhere and I'll find it eventually. I believe I'm using a six millimeter hook or six and a half millimeter hook. So yeah, anyway, love this. This is great. Um, it's very, very thick, very heavy. It'll be really nice in the winter time. Um, and yeah, it's great. Uh, it's just a bunch of my scrap acrylic yarns that I'm holding together to make this like super thick blanket. Um, I'm probably, I'm about a third of the way done. Maybe a little more than a third of the way done. Um, where does it come to? Maybe I'm like halfway done because it comes up to like my hips. I don't know, but um, I'm just gonna keep going until I feel like it's done. Um, and I'm not gonna be picky about it. So yeah, those are, that's everything um, that I've worked on. And now I do have some acquisition. A few episodes ago, I said that I was using metal needles, even though I prefer wooden needles because um, I've broken all of my <laughs> wooden needles from sitting on them and I wasn't going to get new needles until I decided I was mature enough to take care of my wooden needles um, because I broke them all from sitting on them and stupid things like that. So that's 100% on me. Like, don't don't sit on your wooden needles, you know? Like, first of all, you'll hurt yourself. Second of all, your needles will break. Anyway, Knit Picks was having a little sale or they had a special edition, like anniversary or something. Um, so I got a needle set. Um, all the information about it will be below. Um, cannot remember what it's called, but I really, have liked it so far. I mean, I love wooden needles. This is a beautiful case that it came with. Um, it came with like some like bulb stitch markers, which I actually didn't have any of. Of course, cords and notions and stuff like that. This little pocket here. This is where I keep all my cords. Um, this little pocket here, which I don't think has anything in there. Yeah, there's nothing in there. Um, I really like the gold hardware on it. And I think it's like really lovely. I really like Knit Picks's um, wooden needles. I think they're just like good quality. Um, they don't break the bank. Um, and they're, they're, they're nice, you know? I don't need really expensive needles. Um, Cause your girl is balling on a budget, you know, as most of us are. And yeah, I really like them. I'm happy that I got them. I ha I'm happy that I didn't like just buy a new set when I broke all of my needles. I'm glad I waited because I got a really good deal on this and um, it, it's, it's really lovely. I really like it. So if you are um, in need of a new uh, needle set and you, you want wooden, I highly recommend Knit Picks. Um, metal needles that I have, my interchangeable needle, metal needle set is drops. Very cheap as well. I think I spent like $45 on it. 
Um, yeah, it's not the best quality, but like that's good enough. I like them. My um, uh, double pointed needles are also um, drops. They're not the best quality, but they work. I like them. So yeah, drops and nitpicks. You know, it's not gonna break the bank and it's like good enough, you know? I like them. Um, I will say though, the cords for nitpicks are like a million times better than the cords for drops. Drops doesn't have good cords. Um, if you really need them to bend. If you are if you don't need them to like bend a lot, they're, they're perfectly fine. Um, what I love though, is that I can just use my nitpicks cords on my drops needles, which is awesome. Okay, the next thing I got, I got three different yarns at um, one of my local yarn stores. Um, it's called Crazy for Few um, down in Leonardtown. I bought a Barbie shawl set, even though I'm definitely not going to be knitting a shawl with this. Um, it came with a shawl pattern, which I'll put here. It's cute. I'm just like not really big into shawls. Um, so this is from Tea Time Fibers. They're a local dyer um, in their Earl Grey base, which is 85% superwash merino and 15% nylon. This colorway is called Barbie Girl. I got it like right as the Barbie movie came out. And here's um, their little minis called Barbie World. So cute, it's a fingering weight four ply. How perfect are these colors? They're so cute. I am definitely going to be making, mm, I don't know. I mean, I probably will make socks with this, but I don't know. Um, maybe I'll make a cute little like Barbie tank top or something like that. Um, probably not, these are probably going to become socks, but like how precious. I love these, these are fantastic. And last but not least is another Tea Time Fibers. Um, this is on their base Irish Breakfast. Um, the colorway is O-O-A-K, or like oak, not positive. Um, it's 85% superwash merino and it says 15% nep. I'm not sure what nep is. Maybe it's the little, um, what's this called? What is this called? You know what this is called. What? It's blanking. Tweed. Tweed. <laughs> um, anyway, I think it's really, really cute. I'm definitely making socks out of this. Um, and I've been thinking, what if I like held it double and made some like DK socks with this? Because I feel like if you're gonna make DK socks, tweed is the way to go. So I think I might make some DK weight tweed socks out of this, which is very exciting for me. Um, those will be great for like the fall and winter. I love it. It's very much like a, a wine color, which like, I love wine. So this is fantastic. Anyway, that is everything I have to share with you for today. Oh, wait, <gasps> one more thing. I sewed, ah, I sewed a little um, patchwork handkerchief maxi skirt. I love it. I got all of this stuff like, like two years ago on Etsy. Um, I was gonna make a um, dress with it, but I felt like a skirt was like better suited to what I wanted to do. Um, I don't have a lot of sewing experience. I um, was in the costume department in high school theater, um, but I just don't really sew. It's not something I really enjoy. But amazingly, I didn't have a panic attack while sewing this. It was actually pretty enjoyable. Um, so I actually have some extra handkerchiefs that I think I'm gonna sew a matching top for it. Um, next weekend, me and some of my girlfriends are going to see an ABBA tribute band. Um, and I saw them last year. They were incredible. I'm so excited to go again this year. It's just a party. Um, so I'm going to be wearing this skirt 
And if I have enough time this week, um, I will be making a matching top. What I think is so cute as well, the lining fabric. I don't know if you'll be able to see, but it has butterflies on it. Little white butterflies on white fabric, um, which I think is really fun and really cute. So I really appreciate that. Um, it's something that no one will see, but I know it's there. And maybe if I like lift my hem a little bit, like you'll just be able to see some butterflies. So um, yeah, it, that's there for me. It brings me joy. And I do have some extra fabric, extra of the butterfly fabric and some um, just plain white fabric. So I think I might be able to make a cute little like top out of it. Um, am I in my sewing era? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Um, this is, for me has been a year of stepping out of my comfort zone. Um, you know, I, I'm a pretty introverted person, but I've been pushing myself to do more things outside, go places and do things, which has kind of bit me in the butt because I have been so busy this summer. Um, in fact, today is my friend Maddie's birthday and she is going to be on her way over here fairly soon. From this week forward until the first weekend in November, um, I have marching band. I am a high school um, color guard instructor and um, next week is band camp. Um, so the next two weeks will be band camp after work every day and then every weekend after that is going to be um ooh, a bug um is going to be uh marching band competitions so i am booked for a while um but it's good to be busy um usually by november <laughs> i am completely drained and worn out and i need a long break um but it's always worth it. If you work with kids, um, especially high schoolers, I think, um, for like oof, an after school activity, it's always worth it because they, they do it because they want to be there. Um, and it's really fun to watch teenagers grow as people. Um, this is my third year being a guard instructor for these kids. Um, and it's really cool to see these kids oof, just grow as individuals and um, learn and improve and it's it's, it's really a wonderful feeling um, so yeah that's everything I have for you today um, thank you again to Ana Luisa for sending me beautiful jewelry um, remember to shop their summer sale and to use my code smitten knitten 20 for 20% off of your next order okay thank you so much guys I'll see you next time Bye.